cataractcoach.com. Catarata Blanca Fibrosa, una catarata blanca con cápsula fibrótica. Nuestro cirujano invitado es el Dr. Luis Escaf de Colombia. Esta es una cirugía de cataratas difícil. La catarata es densa, pero también la cápsula del cristalino es fibrótica. Here you can see using the keratome to cut into the capsule. So just by making the main incision, then cutting in the capsule with the sharp tip of the keratome and getting that flipped over to create the capsular rexus here. Now grabbing here with the forceps, as you create the capsular rexus, look at the undersurface of the anterior lens capsule. And you can see there's fibrotic lens material stuck or adherent to it. Now as you do this rexus, it's a little bit tougher. You can see the capsule's thickened and there are some adhesion points there. So you gotta be very careful in creating this rexus. And you can see we can go get through these points. Sometimes you can even do some dissection to free the anterior lens capsule from the adhesions that are there. But I think this technique of just creating a larger rexus and making it um, relatively round is probably the best bet here. Now, using this ultra chopper, this is a very sharp tip that allows you to penetrate the dense nucleus very easily. And then using a chopper, on the other hand, you can really split this nucleus. This ultra chopper is an invention of Professor Escoff, and it's a neat technique, and, and I like the technology. So begin buzzing in the nucleus there, splitting it. There's the chopper. And by using this ultra chopper, you're really able to get into this dense nucleus. So again, you're using the ultrasonic power of your phaco tip, and this ultra chopper is a sharp instrument, relatively sharp, but notice it doesn't do any aspiration. Your goal here is just to split the nucleus. You're not going to aspirate out the quadrants with this tip. You're going to switch tips after you've broken the nucleus or separated it into multiple pieces here. So now you're switching over to the phaco tip. And you can see here's his phaco tip he's going to put in the eye. Now this is the hollow bore tip that's used to emulsify the pieces. And these come out pretty easily. And again, look at that capsule there. There are some areas where you have fibrotic lens material just stuck to the undersurface of the capsule. You may not get all of these out. This is kind of the nature of these advanced cataracts. When patients present with these very dense, opaque cataracts that have been there for a long time, you can get some of these types of changes. And, you know, we've even seen videos here on Cataract Coach where you get little rocks inside the eye, little calcifications. And so these fibrotic things, you may not be able to free all of them, and that's okay. So here's the lens in the eye going behind, removing viscoelastic. And clean up as much as you can. But again, there's a balance here. So you got to think about, well, what would the patient have in terms of, you know, visual access before surgery? It was pretty poor. Now here, taking your time, you really want to spend a little bit of time just being gentle here to take out as much of that material as you can. Obviously, it can cause some inflammation in the post op period. But there's just no way of getting this capsule perfectly clear. So nice result here at the very end. Patient obviously had a beautiful outcome and great vision very nicely done. Thank you for the great video. And remember, check out cataractcoach.com, the teaching website. So much great material that you're missing out on. You better check it out. And follow me on Insta.